Hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial on how to install shaders in Minecraft. I think we can all agree that Minecraft is a pretty spectacular game as far as gameplay goes, but it sometimes needs a little bit of help to look a bit prettier in-game. That's where shaders come in. Shaders are relatively easy to install, but if you're not familiar with the process, then it can be confusing and scary. Don't worry, that's why we're doing this tutorial today, to help you. Installing Optifine and Forge. When you want to install shaders, you're first going to need Optifine, and that is something that you will need the whole time, whether you're doing it through Optifine alone or adding Forge. So look up Optifine and the game version of your choosing, and hit the download button from the link that it sends you to. You want to essentially do the same thing for Forge. Look up Forge 1.19.2, as that is my game version, and click the latest installer for the link that it takes you to. Once you've downloaded both of the files properly, it should look like this inside of your downloads. You'll not only have Optifine, but also Forge. First, double click the Optifine file to launch the installer. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to hit the install button, and this will begin the installation process onto your game version, and once it is fully done, you'll have in your Minecraft launcher, Optifine, and this will be the 1.19.2 version if you're following directly along with me. Now, all you have to do is run play to run the installation. Same goes for Forge here. You're gonna run the installer and a pop-up will appear. Hit OK, install it on your client side, and after just a few moments, you will have fully installed Forge onto your computer. Just as it did for Optifine, Forge will appear installed on Minecraft. How to install shaders in-game. To install shaders in-game, we're first going to need to go to our Forge version and go to the installations folder. In here, there will be mods in one of the many files that are there. In this folder, you're going to click and drag the Optifine version into the mods folder. This will allow shaders to be installed through Forge as opposed to just using Optifine. Once you're sure you're playing on the right version, you're gonna hit play and wait for the launcher to launch. Once the game finally launches, you're going to go to your options menu. Inside of your options menu, you're going to go to video settings, and on the left-hand side, just a few ways down, is shaders. Click on that. If you have no shaders installed, then of course you're not gonna see anything here. But that's why we're gonna open up shaders folder, and we're gonna see shaders pack on the left-hand side. From here, you're going to go to this section of CurseForge and download whatever versions of the shaders that you want. In this case, I'll be showing BSL as the example. Click Files next to Description. Then you're going to scroll down and look for the version that you want to use. Again, it's going to need to match the Forge version, so in this case, it'll be 1.19.2. Clicking the orange download button will begin your download, and after just a few seconds, you'll have that installed so that you can put it in for your shaders file. Do this with as many different versions of shaders as you like. And then once you're satisfied, click and drag all of those zipped files, completely zipped, into the shaders pack folder. Then you'll see in game that all of those have been added. Hit done, head back to whatever game version you want, make sure one's equipped, and then you have your shaders. Conclusion. As this video concludes, we're gonna show you the shaders that we love versus Sora, then there's the Sildur's shaders, followed by the complementary shaders, then the BSL shaders, which are highly praised, and finally, the Chocopic. My personal favorite has to be the Sora shaders. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content you like to see. Well, until next time. Huh. Huh.